everyone and welcome back to the continuation of Dave the Diver here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me your host Max. So on the previous episode I have honestly no idea what has happened because it's been a few weeks since I played the game. I think there has been even some update to it but I have been kind of busy with Alan Wake 2 and boy what an adventure was that. But the VIP is back, so hopefully this time I will not use up all the eggs and I will have all the necessary ingredients for the stupid meal so that we can get the VIP of our hands. On the next day, we should have the event where serving shark based meals should give us a nice boost. Now, this causes few problems. Certain sharks can be caught only during nighttime because I screwed up the VIP and now he's coming back. I cannot go nighttime fishing today because I would miss on the VIP and have only a slight portion of the service time. On the next day, then, when we will have the shark event, I am screwed as is because if I don't catch more sharks, well, yeah. Now, the benefit is that I do have already caught a lot of sharks. Hell, at one point I had like even six tiger sharks at one of the fish tanks. So theoretically we can go and like take a look at everything in order for me to find out what's going on. I don't under don't remember, okay, which one is which, but it seems like our dolphin here is perfectly fine. So, I don't know if Rebirth would give me access to a different one, but there is an achievement for you to have a bunch of these weird uh, Tamagotchis. And I, I just honestly don't know how to get more of them, because right now the only thing I have is the dolphin. So it would be nice if I would be able to figure out how to get the other things. Because there's an orca. I have no clue what this is. Hammerhead shark. Some different shark. It looks like beluga whale. A manatee. Some turtle. The little octopus. Whatever the hell that is. Some weird fish. And so on and such. On top of it, we still have not reached the, the complete bottom bottom of the actual water. So, uh, or the ocean at the glacial area because it's just uh, not letting us uh, get there. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna have to figure this stuff out. Uh, we have to catch this specific jellyfish, which honestly... I right now don't even know if I should be carrying around a rifle or a net gun, but rifle is a little bit preferable. We can check if I can actually go into the upgrade. Do I have the final stage of... Now this is definitely something new which I don't recall. I should be able to actually craft a third tier of the rifle. So we can start off with some cool cinematic of this guy jumping into the pool. I used to be a lifeguard and I've seen people do some pretty weird stuff, but thankfully nobody was jumping into the pool and testing their fire weapon, so you got lucky in that department. Uh, what do we need? We need black coral, okay, that's interesting. I need to find some jade blade and find this North Pacific starfish, investigate some aquamarines, I would need to get some barrel jellyfish. And yeah, because we were able to like reach the glacial zone now in the sea people village we can grow actually even the like glacial zone 
uh, seaweed, so I, I kind of don't understand how that works because it grows in the glacial zone specifically due to the environment and the Sea People Village does not meet that criteria, but uh, what the hell do I know? So we can go take a look at the sushi uh, restaurant. Or our rice patty. I think fertilizer has been applied here, weeds have been taken out, uh, the feed has been provided for the chickens. I don't really have X storage, capacity goes up to 50, which sounds awesome. And if I'll have more money, I will be then able to hopefully go and get like the final uh, field, which will cost me 13 grand. That's quite a lot. Let's take a look at the fish. So I was able to get uh, quite a lot of stuff. I believe I already sorted through some of these things, but I don't want to really like kill the sharks. Uh, the tuna and the other stuff right now that I have here as you require at least the two of them in order to uh, then grow the population further so yeah here we have hammerheads I was able to find out that during rainy day I am able to get the seal fish hopefully in the ship's wreckage but if the hammerheads, tiger sharks, and these knuckleheads are gonna keep on reproducing themselves, I should be well set. Uh, the depth water, we have finally two of the large mouths. We have even two of the uh, frilled sharks. So there's something. Uh, the ghost shark over here, we have still just one of those. Over here we have only one of these knuckleheads, one of these, and for some reason narwhals are highly hostile as well, which is most unfortunate. But yeah, uh, overall there's still like a large quantity of stuff. You see, night time, if we go here there's one, two, three, three types of shark minimum, and it's just the sharks which I came across so far. Of course, we have battled with like the equivalent of what is the Megalodon. We have a large shipment of fish. Let's see if we can feed the cats. Because if you feed them 20 times, that's an achievement. don't recall what were the ingredients I required for the meal for the weirdo but I do know egg was a part of that so I will leave to select like the menu for the evening preferably and I think I'm gonna hold on to the rifle uh, if I sell like 40 something more items at the uh, village people's shop I will get also an achievement so there's that and of course we need to go to the village so I think I'll just go for it I could have checked if there are any like uh, valuable things American lobster is definitely new I have not seen that one yet Let's take a look at what do we get. Of course, cat food because... What else? Uh, since we've just upgraded the rifle, I'm gonna need a lot of fragments yet again because they are needed for like uh, upgrading every single weapon. 
we can upgrade even the knife burger which would be actually better than than picking up like majority of the oh my god you're giving me yellow pin tuna you are horrible why why are you doing that to me okay two shots from tier three and there we go also seems to have upgraded the ammo capacity of the gun because uh, until now the maximum was I believe 8 rounds and all of a sudden I do possess 10 rounds. I'm just gonna get the lion pig but honestly I'll immediately like get rid of it. If I would be able to get at least one yellow fin, that would be nice. But that is if my aim is gonna improve. Considering the fact that I need to also acquire this weird thing. Okay, I got lucky there and did not get hit by the other tuna. Getting the tuna is super tempting, don't get me wrong. We need to reach the depth of 100 meters in order to find the weird fish or the weird jellyfish that I'm looking for. And now we have upgraded the third tier to second level, which is gonna increase the damage output from 55 to even more, which is absolutely awesome. I would love to take the scooter and I would love it if I can come across soy sauce sea salt which is literally like I should be able to just take off neoprene suit after each dive just put it out to dry up scrape off the salt and then just go for another dive but no, we gotta complicate everything. So sea grapes, I do have quite a lot of them. Sesame seeds, I will take. Uh, I don't know if I want to deal with this knucklehead. Unfortunately, he is, or it is, not affected by the strong... Current. But we are around the, the depth where I need to be to find the jellyfish. This is a jellyfish rich zone. Unfortunately, it's also strong on currents. Sorry. With the beeping. I'm gonna assume that the mutant jelly is somewhere around here. There's a barracuda, which I don't really want to mess with. Not that I'm afraid of it. I just don't want to waste my precious ammo. Okay, might be in this direction. The beeping is intensifying. Where the hell is this damn thing? Was it above? Below? Okay, it has to be then down. Okay. I think I fucked it up, although this one can somehow teleport? Where's this weird thing? 
How do I find it on the list of all of these things? This jellyfish vanishes like magic. I have no idea what's this rock. It's moving. The beeping has stopped, so I'm gonna assume it's in the other way. The question is if I can shoot the damn thing because it says capture. I think it's above. Fuck! I think it's still somewhere in here. annoying you know that I'm gonna waste most of my ammo on this bullshit I have final round so that means I need more ammunition because chances are I'm just approaching this in a weird way. Yeah. Something is telling me this is not the right way to capture this weird squid. Or jelly. Fish! to find some ammo and then come back unless there's an upgrade which would provide me with the ammo restock not so lucky this time I need to find the ammunition in mind that I need to go there's a tiger if there's a tiger shark chances are what are the chances I need the damn net gun so by switching to this freaking thing I have three attempts I can go and pick up back my rifle which will still have that lovely, lovely damage output. Of course. Of course. You have to get in the way of the freaking shot. Fuck off. Really? How am I supposed to capture this freaking thing? Not that I'm complaining, I mean, literally, I can just keep on replenishing my oxygen, and that's it. No issue there whatsoever freaking ever. I have a large oxygen tank, almost at the maximum level, so it won't take that much. I don't want to get inked. Of course, I got inked. Don't want to trigger this new ball. No need for it. I have plenty of tiger shark meat. All I want to do is capture this ridiculous thing. I don't know if I need some sort of gimmick in order to accomplish this. That's the problem. You know, for sea urchins, you need it. And 
the thing is literally teleporting as I shoot at it. So how am I supposed to... It's not entertaining. At a certain point it gets annoying. I feel like I need a freaking sniper rifle. The reason why is that the sniper rifle gives you the advantage of being able to fire from distance that the squid or whatever the frick that thing is cannot dodge from. The problem is that means I need to find a sniper rifle in one of these crates. If I don't, I'm screwed. The net gun in this instance will not do it for me. So I think I'm literally on the lookout for a actual goddamn sniper rifle. So let's see if sealfish is gonna be in here because it's a rainy day. There's probably gonna be a hammerhead. With the damage output of this thing, should allow me to deal with it. the sailfish inside of the fish tank so that I can reproduce them by myself and just keep on making dishes out of them. Careful about this knucklehead. I don't really need the buffer fish to pop up. But okay. Uh, did not find a sniper rifle in here. Found the hammerhead at least, so we're accommodating at least the requirements for the dishes that are gonna be served uh, during the next uh, shark event. But unless I come across an actual sniper rifle, I don't think I will be able to get that weird thing. I think the sniper rifle is the way to go. Yes, I really don't have a clue what I will be selling at the merchant shop. I don't want to just grab any sort of junk. I know that the thing is over there and I currently don't give a rat's ass. Okay, so good news is that we are at the blue hole depths entry point. If there's gonna be sniper rifle in here, I'm gonna be so happy. Uh, I don't think grenade launcher is the way to go here. It's tempting as hell. Don't get me wrong, it's a hilarious idea on top of it. But no, I'm looking for an actual sniper rifle in one of these damn crates. Which is, with the RNG Jesus involved in this game, not a specific thing that I can make sure that I'll get. That That's the biggest problem. 
Okay, hold on a second. What if, what if, hear me out. What if I can screw with the damn thing? We know where it keeps returning to. So what if I just place a mine there? Make it jump to that location and the mine will detonate. Can we cheese the encounter that way? So we know that around this part... Oh, come on. Okay, I somehow have to also make sure That other fish will not trigger the trap. Son of a gun, I got it. Holy crap, I, I did not think this would work, but holy shit. I saw that otherwise, the only other option would be literally to get my hands on a sniper rifle. Okay, so now that we have dealt with this BS, I can go to the village, talk to that knucklehead, see if we can go to another temple to deal with another set of puzzles to unlock whatever is required. in order for us to get to the next section. If there's a pickaxe, I'll take it. Because pickaxe doubles the yield of the minerals. I can sell the amethyst. rid of this knucklehead. I'm hoping it's not gonna be cat food. Okay, black pepper. That does not drop so frequently, so I'll take it. I can take all of this weird stuff. Right now, I'm gonna try to salvage whatever I can from the floor. With the hopes that I can sell it at the shop for the uh, village currency bay. Or how do they pronounce it? Which in return will get me closer to another achievement. I think I need to still sell like 40 something items. Considering the fact that I cannot actually sell fish at his place. I need to take whatever loot I can get my grubby hands on. Too much engagement with the enemy. Oh, worst case scenario, the minerals will do the job. Get rid of the jellyfish. There's gonna be a sniper rifle here. Ah! <laughs> A guy can dream. It would be funny. But I'm really glad that it worked out. I'm really glad. All I'm trying to do is just get my way to the village. Fish takes so much damage, that's incredible. A lot of ammo, and I have... Sh 
shock tip on the harpoon which kind of beats the purpose when it comes to trying to beat the electrifying jellyfish that I would have to battle anything to salvage down here ammo yes absolutely I'll take whatever at this point now this is actually a tempting target the main reason why is I would potentially have a second row or a second hatched shark of this species So I'm gonna take that risk, and I need to find my way to the village. I think we're almost there. So I'll be able to talk to that knucklehead and get my hands on maybe another temple. sure which one is which from the name and maybe it's the king himself right now I'm not sure so this is done uh, we need to enter the glacial zone if I want to do more stuff there there seems to be some sort of commission or quest here so let's go check it out food that's good for cops yeah, Duo's coughing has worsened again. I told them it was too early to start working. Back when I used to study cooking, I learned that horsehair crabs are good for cough. Horsehair crabs. That's right, horsehair crabs. Uh -huh. The problem is that they dwell in the glacial area and live in crevices between rocks. The name record of how to catch them disappeared as the path to the glacial area got blocked off. How to catch a horsehair crab. Otto used to be a diver, maybe he knows. So Otto is our farmer slash fish tank keeper. Um, I want to first sell as much of this junk and gunk that I do have accumulated to the merchant. Then we can go to talk to the emperor. I think it's the emperor in this case. I can take a look at the progress of the seaweed farm. See what's up. Uh, picked up one of those okay I'm not really sure how much closer hundred sixty out of two hundred yeah that's probably not yet considering the stuff which I sold but I haven't really sold that much stuff So I can therapy add in a few pieces here and there. In order to work my way a little closer. Really 
don't think I need the starfish. And there goes the achievement. Sold him 200 things. Awesome. Okay, so some growth has been seen. Uh, they're still, however, just sprouts. So... We can now go talk to the Emperor. I can hold the shift here and just swim faster because the oxygenated water will prevent us from losing any of the O2 in our tank. Wait, which is the portal up there? Is it this one? Should be the Emperor. Oh, Niamot told me the story. The Divine Tree control room is malfunctioning and that is causing earthquakes, yes? Yes, I need to operate three switches to enter the control room. I already activated one of them. Well done. I am ashamed of our people having to rely on you in this matter. Please don't be. The earthquakes are a problem for us too. I remember something. It was written in one of the ancient books. After some workers mutated into the dolls due to engineer Dasha's schemes, my ancestors created switches to access the control room and scattered them in the glacial area. They created those switches to tighten the security, but they have turned into obstacles now denying access to the control room. It's still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice. Maybe the control room is overheating, causing the water temperature to rise. Stabilize the device and the water temperature will return to normal. I know it's rather impolite of me, but please hurry before our ancestral home is completely destroyed. There are two doors remaining, I will try to locate them. Question is if I will need that other knucklehead to accommodate me. You haven't found it yet? Where did you search? I searched the whole village, but no luck. Uh, what's going on, Ramo? Oh, wait. I think the blue beluga was suddenly has suddenly gone missing. If he is not in the village, he could have gone to the other side of the glacial passage through the open door. He is a very curious kind, you know. You didn't hide him, did you, human? Why would I? Alright, I will let you know if I find him. Thank you! Noang, Noang, what are you doing? Go find the beluga. She's using the... the soldiers to do fetch quests? Ah, I guess being a princess has its perks. Let's see if we can access the glacial zone. Uh, gotta be careful around the vampire there. Myself being. What is wrong with me? Yeah, that's really bad quality. You want to return? No, I don't want to return to the boat. What are you crazy? I just freaking got here. To wipe off these things again. If it takes me too damn long, it's gonna get all foggy again. That's the problem. <laughs> Wait, 
What do you mean the mural in glacial passage? I thought I just took a photo of it, or do I need to zoom out? Uh... Oh, come on! I did wipe off the damn frost. What are you talking about? I definitely did manage to wipe it off. Okay. I don't know what's up with the vampire squids here, but they're really annoying. How the hell do I get to my glacial zone? Did I forget how to get there? I think I just did. I haven't played this thing in such a long time. It's starting to show. Do I seriously have to use the teleportation glass in order to do the trick? be able to like get there easier but if I have to use the teleportation stone it looks so long human I would have done it myself back if my back was not injured I feel sorry for everyone in the village sure I have never met a gaming character so full of BS in such setting before can we get to the glacial zone? So I know for a fact that to the right, there is definitely at least one location to escape through. Where it's gone. Human, your clothes look very warm. Why don't you go inside and take a look? Achoo! You're weaker than you look. Where am I supposed to go? In here? Didn't I just like arrive through here? What the hell is this? Ice gun? Well, that's definitely a new- Whoa, a bone-chilling gun that can freeze anything. A shiver run, run down my spine. I'll definitely need to pick up more of this, but I want to stick to this thing. It's important for me to just, like, come across these and then get on board of the ship in order to, like, count it as a gun collected. I have to watch out for the narwhal, uh, my objective is also to look potentially for those sharks. But right now I don't know if I'm not looking for the beluga. Again the ice gun, interesting. I don't really recall the ice gun from before. So that might have been added with some game update or something I I don't know I can be full of BS someone can let me know in the comments go on and okay seems to be like a frozen entry I heard a voice, it's coming from inside of the cave. How do I break through this thick ice? I have to pierce it through the middle with something pointy, otherwise it won't even crack. Wait, something pointy? Maybe the narwhal horn. Should I try luring a narwhal into the wall? Oh, that's... that's... Is it, I, I bet that's some sort of weird animal abuse. <laughs> I'm just joking. I have no clue. Now how the hell am I gonna get a narwhal to follow me all this way? How convenient that there is a narwhal. Right as I need it to be. Okay, at least this is scripted. Alright, this should be enough. Now I gotta do my best to avoid it. Oh, crap. So 
the narwhal just escapes. Yeah. Phew, that was close. I broke through the ice wall. Now to find the source of that sound. That is so convenient. It's incredible. Oh, the current is stronger than I thought. I see some obstacles too. I have to focus and get out of there. Seriously. Holy crap, I'm like stuck in here. Who had to use that? If I want it or not? This just sucks. I have absolutely no control over Dave here. Like, barely can do anything. Tsuchi? Oh! You're the human from before? What brings you here? I heard a sound coming from inside. Are you trapped? Yeah, I came here to find a new seaweed with Donna. Then got trapped here together. We've been living off the seaweed up until now, but we are here just about reaching our limit. You can help us, thank you. Uh, I think I'm trapped here too. You're useless! You might be able to get out if we manage to break through this ice wall, but it's too thick. Donna would have been able to ram through it, but Donna is in no shame to do so. That's maybe we can hook a rope to the end of the catapult Donna into the wall and break it. Okay, this is definitely some sort of weird animal abuse, right? Like we're using a catapult to shoot a leatherback turtle into a block of ice. If I am understanding it correctly. This will do. Cold! It's too cold! Just hold on for a little longer. We can't escape if we don't do anything. Then Donna here, I'll launch Donna into the wall. Okay. So I just have to let go when the two like match or something. This animal is gonna have definitely some sort of brain aneurysm after this. Okay, you see he. Uh, it's already like spinning around and stuff. I don't think that's celebration. I think that's just admitting that it has no other choice. How is this thing still alive? I do not know. But when in Rome, what I'll do is just collect everything that's in here. he will forgive me because I have no clue if I'll be ever able to come back to this location so it is what it is and it's gonna be the funniest shit if at the end of it there's gonna be some big ass gadon or something at the other side of this and there's even a freaking seahorse in here I need 
need to somehow hit the, the top layer there. I was afraid what would happen if I would accidentally fire this letter back into the stone. Probably not look that uh, good. But this sort of starts to get this South Park theme where they were like launching people against uh, some sort of office with which they were boycotting for something and like a ton of people got squished up against the building because of some stupid reason and this exactly fits the narrative. to be some weird strategy. I think we can get dressed. <laughs> that was success. Good job, Donna. Achoo. We can head out through that door. I think it's it's just literally a hole, not a door. I feel much better now. I will go with you. Talk to me when you're ready. I am ready to head out. Ready. I've picked up already everything in here, so... Oh my god. I did not need to see that. <laughs> They've killed it there. <laughs> yeah, we got us out of there safely. Thank you, human. Whoa. Take this. Mmm, <laughs> an ice pick. Uh, you can break ice with it, but this you should be able to reach small areas blocked off yeah. by ice. I'm sure it will come handy. Thanks, Sushi. See you later, human. At least there's some sort of ingredient and seaweed stuff. You cannot wait to test out this new... Mafia killing tool. Right? Like the stories where they killed the guy with the ice pick. Something fancy. No, oh, come on. God freaking damn it. Seriously, I'm down. 500 meters and you give me canned food? Yeah, I cannot go deeper. Might as well look for, I don't know, some shark or something. The Greenland shark or the other white uh, iceberg region shark, which I still need to hunt like two more of them. I honestly have no clue where the other entrance to these other spots can be. Definitely droning him out of here. Should still have one charge left. Wonky almost was not able to find the placement for the drone. It was really awkward. Okay, so I had to use up the oxygen tank which I had, so the oxygen on me is the only HP which I theoretically do possess. This is a way out. There to be take the ammo. What is up with these weird stones? And how do I switch to the ice pick? I, I don't think that's the location where I'm supposed to use it though. It doesn't seem to match. 
So I'm gonna have to obviously locate the location where it would fit. Another black pepper. Now the only thing I need to make sure is to not get wiped out by some stupid reason. Oh, poor guy! Oh, Beluga! Why is it here? Hey, that's the octopus! Or it's a different one. It's an Ar Antarctic octopus. It's venomous, maybe poisoned. Now we know how. Probably Beluga got... Ah, you little... I'm not letting you go. Stop there. What, what am I gonna... I think I was able to hit the damn thing. Objective, or what am I gonna actually achieve by chasing after this knucklehead? Oh crap, I get to some weird place. What now? I cornered this one. It looks kind of pitiful up close. Now I can. I'm gonna go with rescue. Maybe I got some sort of... What is this bottle? Octopus dropped it. Antidote, perhaps. Okay, I'm actually also interested in that weird crab which I saw over there. Because I feel like that's the one for the, the weird uh, medicine I might require. Okay, lovely. Oxygen tank every time. Yes, yes, yes. It's a golden king crab. That's I think that's a different species. If I refill my oxygen here and try to head inside, if that's even possible, because it seems like the current is going out of there. It's not gonna let me in. Let's go heal the beluga. If that thing was truly a antidote. We swam past a few things which I wanted to interact with, but I wasn't able to because I had to chase after the damn thing. Actually, this region is giving me quite a lot of decent supplies. Two soy sauces, miso, black pepper. Those are not that frequent uh, of a drop. Especially soy sauce, god damn it. I cannot tell you how many times I wished I would be able to pick up soy sauce and I was not able to. I did not even notice this. I think I need the aquamarine for some special quest. Yeah. I could have sworn one, but one fell off. Where is this poor beluga? Let's see if we can cure this fella. You don't look well. Uh, do you want to try this? I would be more worried about this creature actually suffocating because it's a mammal and needs to breathe oxygen. And here it does not have access to any. Oh, you look better now. I'm relieved. Why don't you return to the village? You can get there alone, right? I should explore some more. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anywhere through here. The 
problem is, that location where we went is like the only way I think I can go. And the current out of that temple is just too strong, so it's never gonna let me in through there. Ah, crap. Did not notice this. I know, how ironic. But this is where we came in. Down there we battled the Greenland Shark. shoot honestly the small fish because the quality of the meat is gonna just be absolutely terrible not suitable for sushi making I feel like I'm stuck in circle or something is this the place where the ice pick should work okay if I ought to go up here I bet if there would be some stalagmite or stalactite or whichever is the one growing from top uh, facing downwards, but be able to maybe fall through here. I have no clue where the ice pick is to be used, how the location specifically uh, looks like. What if I drop the ice down here? Would that break whatever is in here? I need to drop more ice here. I don't know if the ice which I used to kill the crab is still there though. No, that, that one got broken unfortunately. And there's just no ice over here. bring my own ice cube into the glacial zone that'd be kind of stupid right problem is i don't really recall seeing more ice pieces somewhere around here that i would be able to carry to set location but if i come across one i will know where to bring it I don't think the grenade launcher would do anything in this instance. Yeah, I don't think I've been in heat. Oh. That one has death like grip. It turns around into burning hellscape. Interesting. J just for the freaking hell of it, I have to try if this thing would actually do anything to blow a hole down there but I, I doubt it it seems like we literally need the ice cube in order to do this because I don't think I can angle myself properly to yeah that's not gonna do it although an interesting concept of a weapon and the fact that it's already level 2 is even more shocking. Usually when you come across weapons out in the wild, they're just the basic level. So the fact that we're in the glacial zone must be affecting the fact that this is already like tier 2, but this is tier 3 with the damage upgrade which I was able to pick up. multiple jade marbles what I'm looking for is the lower portion of the jade and I feel like I'm gonna not take this king crab but I'm gonna take the ice cube and bring it over there and see if I can actually break through that location I have no clue what's in there maybe 
there's gonna be nothing. Maybe it's gonna tell me that I need one more ice cube. But, I don't know. I, mean, I just wanna see what's gonna happen. Maybe it's gonna work out. I mean, at the end of the day, we use the freaking narble to drill through ice on this episode, so... Yeah. Crap. Again, the stupid thing. Seriously, how many more? Now, I'm gonna have to start monitoring the oxygen level though, because we're reaching the halfway point. I'm gonna probably skip the second dive, just cut it out of the video, and we're gonna go to the VIP afterwards. Obviously, I'm gonna play through the second dive, because I'm the type of person who refuses to give up any opportunity to dive, capture fish, and do whatever I can in order to make the sushi place more better. So here is our third ice cube. It's quite the swim. And I'll get really pissed if the third one is not gonna do the trick, considering how much of a distance I need to travel here. Alternatively, I could have, like, said F it and just grabbed the two king crabs. But I'm a sucker for punishment, I guess. Hopefully this time I will not interact with the damn spikes that are growing out of there. Seriously, I have no clue what these are there for, just besides being an environmental hazard. There's not even that much fish swimming around here. Finally! Are you shitting me? No! No! You cannot do that, that's so disappointing. There's literally nothing. I cannot do anything in here. Wow! Wow, I'm serious. Wow, okay, well, that's disappointing as hell. I had to try. It'll cost me one king crab, but I had to try. Unfortunately, I cannot shoot the damn crab. Or maybe I can try. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I can use the sticky icky. I know that's more of a Snoop Dogg thing, but yeah, no, it won't work. I cannot believe I broke through that freaking ice in order to find out there's like nothing behind that. Disappointed! There should be that one more shark. There's usually the narwhal. The shark, which is over here. This one can be a little aggressive. Got lucky there. If I did not have that oxygen tank, I would be toast. Okay. What the hell? Frozen cod? Okay. Seriously, this episode is getting out of there. I have no clue how to gain access to the next location. So finding my way out, I think, will be the most appropriate thing to do here. 78 kilos out of 128. Uh, there, I can bag a narwhal if I would come across one. Okay. 
I need a way out. I have no clue what this is, and I don't know how to use the pickaxe or the ice pick. Is there a way out from here? Now I'm looking for a mirror. I don't need to go through the temple one more time. That that one temple should be like dealt with. So that should be okay. I'm looking for two more. Okay, there's our way out. I'll take the North Pacific stars because they are requested for a bunch of things. Another miso, awesome. One spiky tail. Okay, take this and I'll call it quits for now. Do one more dive. If something interesting happens, I'll let you know. And then we have the VIP. These are Sea People Glacial Passage murals. Capture all the Sea People murals achievement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I captured everything there. Huh, this looks like Legend of the Sea People discovered by the Divine Tree. From the very beginning, the Sea People lived in colonies near the Divine Tree. This is... There must have been a huge earthquake and lava eruption in deep ancient times. It seems that this is when Sea People suffered significant losses. The one in the mural looks like King Long. I read that mutated sea people were imprisoned by him. This must be that scene. So there was a reason for why sea people were sensitive to earthquakes and rising temperatures. So we can't rule out the possibility of catastrophe happening at that time too. You are going to have to explore the glacial area to check on its current status. Good luck, Dave. Okay, I'm gonna have to get more of the sticky bomb and the ice gun in order to get those blueprints. I think there's an achievement for you to actually do that as well. Uh, these are level 8, so I think this is what we'll keep. Gle Greenland shark is the best thing I came across. I need to see what row was I able to obtain. A yellow fin tuna, absolutely nice. Hammerhead, Pelican Eel. Yeah, these two are definitely new to the menu. Starry Skate Row. So that's this guy, the, the last spiky boy who tried to attack me. <laughs> oh, you brought the new fishmon for our collection. Mm -hmm. You think a jellyfish that looks like it's wearing a wizard hat actually exists? Surprise! Hello. Now then, we'll send you the fee when the issue is out on Monday morning. Please keep this up. Okay, so we have all the resources that I need. I, uh, I think I need to do a few things. So yeah, I'll talk to you when I'm taking care of everything.
does not really specify if I need to talk to Otto over here or at the fish farm. Oh, you want to catch a horse hair crab? Mm -hmm. That's right, apparently they live in crevices, so it's hard to catch them without harpo with harpoons or nets. Oh. Of course you can't, you'll need a crab trap. Mm. A crab trap? <laughs> yes siree! You put some bite bait inside crab trap, place it between some rocks, and crabs and lobsters will walk right in. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, then can catch horse crab. Horse hair crab with it. it. Do you have any? Uh, I'm retired, of course I don't have uh, one. But I can make you one if you have the materials. Mm -hmm. Alright, what kind of materials do you need? Uh, uh, some lumber, scrap, iron, rope, and you'll need a tiger shark tooth for a good tr grip. Okay. okay? I'll go get everything. Mm -hmm. Good, I gathered everything I need to make a crab trap. I should go back and talk to him. <laughs> okay, good. You brought all the materials for a crab uh, trap. All right, to, time to work my magic. Let's see if I still got it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, it's uh, excessive amounts of screenshots, but I'll take it. Yes, three. Put it in crevice where there's a lot of bubbles and wait for a bit. <laughs> when it catches a crab, the crab trap will start shaking, you'll know it right away. Got it. With this I can catch horsehair crabs. Different things live in different areas, so try to put that to good use. Question is if I can have more of these things. And if I can buy more of them. And if I can buy them here, or if I have to go specifically... Yeah, this price is still not done. I feel like putting some actual fertilizer... ...over here would be beneficial. Accelerates plant growth. The effect of fertilizer lasts a day. Fertilizer that makes plant more resistant pests. Let's buy two more so that I have them in stock. Do I buy the crab trap from this guy here? No, it's just expansion. Seems I'll have only that one thing available. Interesting. Okay, I guess I can go and try it out, see if I'll be able to catch something and show you. But yeah, I'll, I'll skip most of this. And... Uh, See what can be done. Because the episode is already quite long. Ooh, blue lobster.
Oh, you should play scrap trap Odo me for me. There's also that uh, weird. Uh, can now use scrap traps. Put some bait in the trap and place it in a certain rocky crevice. European lobster, white leg shrimp, American lobster. Upon catching crab, the crab trap will start shaking. Remember, unretrieved crab traps disappear when you leave the water. Make sure you retrieve them. Question is, what exactly is used as a bait? Do I need the fish? And how many times do I have to hit this knucklehead? With 42 points of damage. In order to actually qualify for it. Oh my god, again, can't, can't food. This time, damn, Octopus actually proactively went after me. Interesting. It's bleeding. Do I put this? Ah, so I need to look for these weird rocks. Sure, mm. let's put in the enteric octopus. The problem is the placement of this damn thing. Ice gun has been collected, so I have two pieces of this already in the pocket. It's not shaking yet. I can get the dumbest thing out of this anyhow. So while that's doing its thing, I can try to go and like grab some shark meat or something unfortunately because i jumped directly over here i don't have a big axe so i cannot really mine the resources it's really pissing me off have to look for more locations like this one question is if uh, I'll be able to capture those lobsters and stuff in the higher regions because I don't recall seeing their spots like that before I'm really pissed off about not having the pickaxe though that I have screwed up Dave, 
Come on. What if I follow it? Can I potentially come across another spot? Where it will pop up? Or maybe next time I'll be ready and have a photo situation. Who knows? The problem is because the whale got triggered, uh, the shark which appears in this region did not get triggered. Which means uh, I'm, I don't want to go yet to the Sea People Village because I am not able to do two commissions or two quests. So back at the sea uh, village, I should be able to ask Mima to cook the special meal for the blacksmith and also hand out the commission for the three sharks. Horse her crab, how did you get one? I use crab trap. You can lure them into a trap with bait. Yeah, I think I've read about it. Anyway, this is great. Horse her crab is most delicious and nourishing when steamed. I have a steamer, I can cook it for you in no time. I have no clue how are you steaming stuff underwater, but I'll take it. Make sure you don't. Here, come to the door so I can give it to you. Here, I picked it up for you. Please give it to Dua. It's, it's, it's like she doesn't trust me with it or something. Why would you put it in such a stupid place so that... I'm struggling a little bit here with it. Please don't tell me I'll have to return also the basket in which she steamed this. Seriously, this raises so many questions about the rules of thermodynamics. I don't even know where to start. Unfortunately, don't have the pickaxe, so I cannot deliver the aquamarine. I'll have to do that some other time. Let's give this to our stubborn blacksmith who has a water wheel with a water hole underwater. Oh, I should be inside, right? I should give him some steam for syrup crab for his cough. Mm-hmm. 
So that nasty cough still hasn't gone away here. Why don't you try this? A steam horse hair crap? Where did you? I caught one in glacial area and gave it to Mima. She cooked a delicious meal out of it. They say it's good for coughing. Try it. Looks warm and delicious. Let me try. I think it's gonna blow his lid off. Still coughing. Oh, I feel stronger. I feel like I'm bursting with energy. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I've never seen you so energetic before. Thank God, goodness. I doubt my I'm completely cured, but still, it's given me a good boost. Thanks, Dave. I can't give you much right now, but here, take this. I wasn't hoping for a reward, but thanks. I'll put it good to good use. For the sake of everyone who's worried about me, I'll do my best to get my health back. Drop by the workshop anytime. <laughs> Divine tree fruit fragments. Okay, uh, I have 55 kilos. In my inventory, I have one shark. I was able to hunt, uh, the Greenland shark. What do we have here? Where did it go? What happened? Well, the manatee baby, it just suddenly disappeared. Oh, it's a big problem. The manatee's mom is also worried. Things are getting out of hand. Do you have any ideas? Maybe it saw the beluga and went to the glacial area. There's kind of suspicious place. I'll go check it out. Oh, thank you, human. I'll be waiting. Okay, uh... Guess I can go try to fetch the baby. When in Rome. Uh, register the two seahorses that I have. I have quite a ridiculous collection of seahorses by now. <laughs> Something wrong, Lichen. Uh, so Geo ran away again. What again? Yes, I think something caught his attention. Another shilling, shining jellyfish? I think so. I've seen one near Glacial Passage. Dave, I'm sorry to ask you again, but can you look for Salgio? He's hiding, uh, if he's hiding somewhere, you can lure him out with some feed. Okay, I'll search around. Did I get the feed, or do I have to make the feed? I forgot how the feed works. It's been a while. Holy crap, this game is throwing so much stuff at me. I don't even know what's gonna be the damn thumbnail for this video. So much stuff is happening. Hence why the video is probably so long. I'm really loving this game. I, I don't know what is it. Uh, you know what? No, we need to use the mirror in order to access the glacial passage again. Again! Fan lobster. Interesting. So I think I know where to find at least the baby manatee. Question is, in my absence, if things did manage to reset themselves... What is that? A crying sound. I should go where the crying sound is coming from. It's definitely somewhere to the left. To the left, to the left. Don't have the pickaxe in order to pick up the aquamarine, so I cannot do that commission. Am I gonna have to now start dropping the damn... Ice blocks on that uh, spot. There's a sound coming from here. It looks like the entrance was blocked. The baby went in. Maybe I can break it, but oh, fuck's sake. Now you're gonna make me start dropping the ice again on this. 
Again, manatee is a goddamn mammal. These things need to breathe oxygen so they can suffocate. Plus, manatees don't live in uh, Arctic areas. They like Florida, which is absolutely surprising considering their body is consisting mostly of fat. Alright, it's open. Let's go inside. Oh, so now it's gonna be a special zone, but before when I broke through here, no. Where did he go? Hey, Bubba. Holy crap. Dave, I have no idea what your ears are made out of, but holy crap. And like underwater on top of it? Okay, so the baby manatee is there. It looks scared, we need to calm it down. baby. Oh, is a good baby. I'm trying to rub the weird pig spot. Okay, now we have a different spot. I'm kind of overdoing it with the print screens this episode. It's been a while. Good boy. Who's a good sea cow? Okay, it's calmed down a bit. Shall we head out? Ah, oh, crap. Now I have to again protect it, huh? I hate when I have to do that. Ah, oh, shindig. A narwhal came through. I don't take care of it. The baby manatee won't come out. from here ammo has been somehow replenished oh for fuck's sake shark in here too i think i'm gonna have to take care of a shark before i can move on great all the best hits okay i guess we can leave now Cannot call in a drone for some reason on top of it. I don't think I've used up all my drone charges as of yet. And somehow Manatee Baby got injured by something. Wow, level 5. I, I don't think I've ever had an upgrade like this. Where the hell would the damn narwhal and shark come from? Do you know how to get back? Get back safely to the village, do you hear? Or I'll turn you into sushi. Okay. No idea where Solgio is, but I think I've done quite a lot. Glacial Passage. Try to look for that octopus. When in Rome. Unfortunately, I was not able to find where the stupid octopus is at. But I was able to rescue the baby manatee, so we're gonna go and pick up that. Afterwards, we're heading to the restaurant to deal with the VIP. And that should help us out. Proceed further. Okay. It all went by itself to the glacial area. Children, whatever human or animal, are full of curiosity. I'm glad to see the mom is now at ease also. Human, you really have good sense of smell. Well, I didn't actually find it with my nose. Well, anyway, here's something for your gratitude. Nice. Got some seats for free. I can like literally go and replant at least one third of my farm for free this way. 
if not even more. I keep mixing up oh, how many seeds do I need in order to put the seaweed into one row of here at the farm, but that's okay. If I would have the actual, uh, what you call it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. The name is escaping. If I would have the... train of thought if I would have the pickaxe I would have been able to mine the resources and uh, uh, get the other commission okay let's see uh, so golden king crab had it Greenland shark starry skate I did not really take that much stuff, and yet my inventory is completely full. Okay, let's go deal with the uh, VIP. I think I'll hold on to dealing with the rest of the shindig afterwards. You're sleeping. I cannot give him something right now because he is asleep, so... Let's go deal with the VIP. I'll have to set up for service as well. This time we have all the ingredients, so this should go a little bit better. See you Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of showdown. Challenge of the chef. Bacha, are you ready? Of course. And Wong Pong. The scene, I can't wait. Excellent, then let's begin. What the fuck? Okay, perfect. Onion. Onion. Okay. Prep the stargazer. With the onion. Got the fish. Do I use the Necessary. Uh, I don't think I'll get the perfect score here. So weird. 
but I'll go with it. Definitely looks better than when I tried to use my walk at home. Now I'm joking, I actually quite good with the walk. It's almost made for idiots like me. God, I don't know what the thumbnail is gonna be for this one. Good job. Ninety nine score. Holy crap, almost perfect. Question is if I would F up the prep more, if that would actually result in the other chef Wong Pong winning. I lost, but I'm the best chef in Hong Kong. Of course, your dish was excellent, Wong Pong. You used the finest ingredients for a flawless taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. But Bacho's dish, it gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time tasting the fish. Bacho gave me perfect blend of interesting and fresh taste of a Stargazer and the classic taste of sweet and sour sauce. If we're talking about the taste, yours was better, Wong Pong, but I highly admire Pancho's attempt to present a foreign taste into, famil into a familiar way. My final verdict is Pancho. Congratulations. Oh, Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Pancho wins the match. Pancho, what are your thoughts? My thoughts? I want to present the... Thank you, Pancho. The champion saves words for more action, and we love it. Today's winner is Bacho, the defending champion. What a competition, what a judgment. See you next time. This was reporter Yui. Okay, now we have to prep for the service. I have nothing prepared. No idea what dishes to serve. Amazing Bacho, you bested Bob Pong, Wong Pong in, the air, uh, in his area of expertise. Who cares about nationality when it comes to food? Flavor is a fair game. Why do I have this feeling that the show will return again? But I have full confidence in your victory. Speaking of the contest, I got some new inspiration for Chinese cuisine while preparing for the competition. I'll write them down. Help me try something new when you have time. Okay, now we have to prepare for the service. So... We're gonna upgrade some of the dishes for quality. <laughs> and the price. We don't have enough of this. Uh, this would burn through like my entire reserve of soy sauce almost. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to get more Greenland Shark. 524 portion, are you kidding? If I'll be serving that on the next run, holy crap, that's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. part ways with some of the resources which I was able to get because they're not that easily accessible so plus also if I upgrade this uh, meal it just does not live up to even the basic sushi this one is 550 for one portion <laughs> I need more rice, but we will have harvest on the next episode probably. So I'm not that worried about that one. I get six portions out of that. 
Narwhal can be upgraded, but Narwhal is not shark, that's a mammal. Kind of weird that Narwhal was made into Predator, but okay, I can live with that. Let's go upgrade this uh, sea urchin. I can do the rice. the vegetable sushi set again uh, I should have quite a lot of Mako I'll have to hold on to We should have like full night of service ahead of ourselves anyhow. Gives me five portions to work with. It would use up the last rice. This gives me five portions as well. the variety of meals I will try to serve the beverages clean up the tables but not serve the meals because that takes too long and Dave is not the fastest Keep an eye out on the wasabi. Okay, go clean up. Beverage. Keeps the customer happier for a bit longer. Yeah, the wasabi refill was definitely a good choice. If I serve the good beer, then I'm happy. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Almost out of everything. Holy shit, we sold out. Good stuff, good stuff. I wasn't sure how many portions to prepare, so I wanted to be a little bit careful, but great service. This should give us five flames, potentially. So I'll be able to then research some more meals hammerhead shark was the best sushi or best selling item net profit of 12 grand is absolutely beautiful i had to enter the cave with an outflowing current to turn on the second control room switch is there any way to enter the cave the current may be weaker today i should go check for some mysterious reason, it's gonna be weaker today. Hey, what up, Dave? Oh, you seem a little down today, Sammy. I want to discuss something with you. Can you come to the chicken farm? Mm -hmm. All right, be there soon. And yeah, it's a party today, so I need to prepare the shark meals. So rice is also done. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Obviously, quite a lot of stuff happened. And so I really hope that you did enjoy it and hopefully I will see you all at the next one. You can go check out the playlist and also check out what the channel is up to. Subscribe, see if I care. 
and uh, there's lots of stuff I'll try to work on uh, bigger projects but they will take me time so in the meantime enjoy whatever is out there and I'll see you in the comments or the next one thank you all for watching and bye bye for now